Hey there everyone, Dr. Taylor back with Archer Review. Today let's look at oral sectioning. This is a straightforward skill, but it's something I guarantee you're gonna do nearly every shift, so you really should know the equipment. First of all, for oral sectioning in adults, we most often use this little clear device. I have always called it a yonker. It can also be called an argyle, kind of dependent on what your hospital stocks, but they all look pretty much like this. They just get hooked up to your suction tubing that then needs to go over to your suction canister. And we turn that suction on with this little wall device. So see in the top position right now, it's off. Over here is intermittent suction. And for us to apply our oral suctioning, we want it over to the left on continuous suction. We'll then use the dial down here to turn that up, usually between 150 and 180 in adults, lower if they have any sort of trauma or sensitivity, or if they are a younger client. Then what we'll do is go ahead and raise our client up for respiratory care, it's really good practice to remember. Overall, the higher they're sitting up, the better lung expansion we are going to have. Oftentimes we'll do suctioning after chest physiotherapy or nebulizer treatments to try and clear out any gook that's built up in their lungs. So I'll come in, introduce myself to the client, kind of let them know what's going on and go ahead and apply my suctioning. Let's get our tubing over here. All right, Mr. Smith, we're gonna go ahead and clean out your mouth for me. We're gonna do some oral suctioning. Now remember, we're doing oral suctioning. I don't need to stick this all the way down their throat or anything. I'm cleaning out that oral cavity. So I'll take my yonker or argyle, I'll place it in Mr. Smith's mouth, go over here, go over to his left cheek, under his tongue. Can you give me a big cough? If we have them seal their lips and give us a big cough, <clears throat> sometimes we can get some of that phlegm out. Sometimes I'll do some taps on their chest, a little manual chest PT to help get that gunk out while I'm applying oral suctioning. And there we go. As always, take off those dirty gloves, wash your hands, document that you applied oral suctioning. Those are the basics. Thanks for watching and I'll see you back next time to talk about other types of suction. Archer nurses, Dr. Caffrey with Archer Review again. I hope you enjoyed that clinical skill video. Dr. Taylor and I had so much fun filming those for you. In fact, we filmed over 200 clinical skill videos for you so that as you guys enter clinical practice, you feel as prepared as possible. You can sign up for that complete clinical skills course using this QR code here or going to archerreview.com. There you can also sign up for the 19 other comprehensive nursing courses that we've created for you like behavioral health, pediatrics, fundamentals, health assessment. Our goal here is to make nursing school as simple as possible so that you guys feel prepared to enter your new career as a nurse. In the meantime, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you never miss an Archer Review video. Good luck, future nurses.